Good morning. It's Janice. It's Jazz. It's Janice Thompson here from jazzledazzlecraft.co.uk. This is my first cupping cards this year. Totally disorganised, flying by the seat of my pants as usual. Um, and just waiting to see if anyone comes in. So if you're here, I'm not expecting people to just arrive just because I've decided to start it up again. But you will be able to see it on the replay. Let me know if you're watching. And also let me know if you watch on the replay too. I might have moved that the wrong way. So hopefully if you're watching on replay as well, you will have a cuppa with you. I've actually got water with me today. So, yeah, I'm just... Right, I think we're just good to go. We'll just get going. So, today I am playing with Kite Delight. And, which is in the new mini catalogue. Then January to June. 2292 just in case you're watching a later date and I'm using this free paper which I earned from the celebration offering this year and it's called simply marble marvelous <laughs> a play on words here but it's actually really sort of like a watery silky type of that and then this is a watercolor type finish um, that gives a sort of sky look so I'm kind you know for me that's a sort of water look and that's a sort of sky look but could be either so this is sort of bammy blue is the main colour in this one basic grey I think is it I don't know um, coastal cabana gorgeous grape so saffron and flirty flamingo so yeah superb so if you've come if you're on the live and you've come in just say hello so I don't feel all lonely and like I've got no friends which is probably about likely so what well, I'm going to start off with a card I've already actually designed I'm going to use in one of my classes so I'm just going to start this off just to get me and get me going. I think I'm going to bring in my Stamparatus today and have a bit of fun with that. Um, yeah. So what I did was, and I've done this already just to start me off, I've stamped on So Saffron card with Knight of Navy in this particular kite here. So it's just a fun set, a fun set. You could do ch children or adults alike. And a nice one for colouring in. Kia ora and Harrod. Well, nice to see you. Glad I'm not totally on my own today. Because I've not done this for weeks, I didn't actually expect everyone to come tumbling in just because I'm on. But um, we'll, we'll build up again. I'll get regular again. I'm just looking for a different colour here this time of card base. I've got this bag of card bases or that are extra from others so I've got a Bami blue one this time so I'm thinking I'll use the Bami blue paper hi Tracy in you come I appreciate you do come you coming in so that's nice isn't it it's lovely swirls it's yeah so don't know if it's a bit dark for stamping on or if I'll use I think I might use this side this time 
I can't even remember what size I cut that to. Um, have you all got a cuppa? Hi, Chris. Hi. So, have you all got a cuppa with you? Let's see if I've got a rough idea of what I've got ruler here as well. So I was playing last night, and so I'm starting with this card because then it gets my creativity moving again. So. I've done there seven point seven six or something. Let's just put that. that one is twelve that way. So let me just think. The brain is not it my body's here, my brain decided not to come this morning. Like, are you still quite warm and humid there in New Zealand? All right then. Well, it's a beautiful, beautiful sunny day here in Scotland. 12 by what? Well, we just go. 12 by 7.7, because that, if it was 14 by 9.7. Sorry for my ridiculous maths, but that is, because I'm doing it in proportion with the card. And so that, that would be 7.3. That's why I couldn't measure it with the ruler because I didn't know what I was doing. Right, and um, if that was 12, that needs to be 11.6. So I do 4 millimetres smaller. If you use inches, just go quarter of an inch smaller, probably. For your layers, right. Put the trimmer away. It'll be out a few times today because, as I say, this is as much in my brain as I prepped. So, Happy New Year if I've not spoken to you. And let's do another year of creativity. And why am I going to glue that when I've not stamped on it? Somebody needs to keep me right here. Alright, so I think. I like that sentiment, your friendship is so uplifting and it gives space to have the kite, what do you call it, the ribbon things. Does somebody want to tell me? I know they're sort of for, are they for ballast or help it fly? I don't know. I'm not really um, very au fait with the physics of flying a kite. Yeah, I know it's a tail, but I, I'm trying to think what the purpose of it is. You probably fly more kites in your nice climate over there, right? So again, I've just got, I've still got Knight of Navy out, so just let's use it. And I like the way it's got threaded through. It's probably misty moonlight, but it's close enough. So you could actually work your way through this pack of paper and do a card with each of the colours. Your friendship is so uplifting. So it is. And then I want this ta tail. So I need a block for that. I'm having a bit of a block crisis. And all I'm going to do is pop this. Just so that it's not interfering with the sentiment. Doesn't need to be exactly like the other card, the exact spacing or so. Who's here and not said hello? Say hello if you've come in. So I can close this just now because I did I have this like this kite lion and the so saffron and you know it looks fine on this blue too, so yeah. I'm using up glues here so we might have a bit of a an issue with glue. That wasn't bad, was it?
Yeah, good morning, Shirley. Yeah, it is sunny, but however, I still put the fire on so you can have a wee seat in the heat. And there's still nibbles and things on the table. If you haven't had breakfast, make sure you have. Or whatever meal you're at, some of your bit supper. So there's that. And it's just going straight on to the card. I'll just keep an, a simple start to my first one. And then just some dimensionals. I've got a, the end of a piece of dimensional sheet here. I'm just going to chop it. Oh, it's not sticking together here. So let's just use up these bits. So what's everybody's plans for the rest of their day? After this I have my January class in the post to pack and get ready to be posted out to everybody. So a bit of chopping card and packing. So that's always exciting. And then probably a bit more creativity later on. Right, so there's our first card, is it? Have we got some white to line it with? Nah, not organised, are we? Let's just do a wee trick that I... In fact, no, I won't, because I'm going to do something else in a minute. Let's just cut this, and then I'll cut that ready for my next project. Right. Food shopping. Oh, surely that's always fun, isn't it? Mostly my husband does the food shopping now. When the first lockdown came in and it was only one person supposed to go because I don't drive, we voted him to be the shopper and he's done such a great job of it. Just let him keep going. So a nice same um, card to be sending to... Did I say I was going to cut this ready for my next idea? You're in bed, okay, yeah. of course sleep's your next job. <laughs> and very important is, so I'm cutting myself a 13 centimetre square here. And then I'm going to play with my stamping actus and these stamps. And this is my liner for that card. Jumping up and down. I haven't got a cuppa. I forgot to get it, but I've got a big cup of my Stampin' Up hydration bottle. It's full of good old water, Scottish water. That'll do me today. Right, I'm on I'm, I'm, one of my missions. I don't make resolutions, but one of my missions is to make sure I am better hydrated. I'm a bit of kind of girl that slips into the coffee too easily and forget. Oh, oh, I don't know why that would be. It's not buffering here, surely, at the moment. Oh, right, that's fab. Oh, you can work on it while you're watching too, Chris, can't you? Right, so what are we going to decorate inside here? I played about on the inside of this one, look. Just some kites, but I've not left much room for writing, although you can write over the second generation stamping. So I can have a wee play here. So let's see. Where's the stamp set? 
It's also got this lovely sunshine and clouds, so I'm thinking I might just... And the bows, maybe just a wee bow design down the front. Or do you know what's this one? Let's have a play with this one. I'm full of bunkers ideas today. I'm wondering, some, I think I've, these kites, you can just use them just for the shape. Not always for the fact they are kites as such. This will either work or it will go horribly wrong, but let's just... Right, so ink it up, stamp it off, and then just have a stamp off the edge a bit. So you're just putting a wee pattern on the edge. Stamp off. I'm making this up as I go along. There you go, just a pattern down the edge just to finish off. The other way I could have done, I could, there must be off cuts of paper somewhere, so I could have cut, just put a strip of the designer series paper there as well, just to add interest. So that's that one. For a moment I thought that that was round the wrong way, the card. So just wee tricks to, you know, to fancy up your card a bit. Again, you could, you can decorate the envelope. Oops, it's just a hint of a kite on the inside there. And that's card one. I'm not in a rush today. If we only make two cards, we only make two cards. The next thing I'm going to do is play with the Stamparatus. Now, on the last night, I did play with it too. So this is the card that I'm, I'm not going to try to recreate this completely, but I'm just going to show you the process I went through. Yeah, you could do twine and ribbons. Of course you could. But I'm trying to keep it simple. You're quite right. <laughs> Now, I'm going to use this one in one of my face-to-face -face classes for beginners in February. So, because I thought it's pretty, it's nicely, it's got a nice finish and, but it's given them a good experience of stamping. So that's that. So put that aside up here just now. So I thought I, I liked it and I'm sticking with my Knight of Navy because those of you who know me know that Knight of Navy is my favourite. So yeah, so I'm going to just play. I might not get the same. I won't get the same results because I'm going to just try a couple of other things. So let's get my Stamparatus out. So, and again, in my classes, I am um, one sum of customers have confirmed that they do have a Stamparatus or other stamping platform um, then I'm going to do a Stamparatus class face to face as well. This, where have I put my card that I cut? Ariane Harrod, well I'm just getting started back because I will continue with all my online things, um, but um, just for local people, there's quite a few locals who used to come to my classes who don't really use social media and aren't on their computers, but they do like crafting, so I'm going to give them some chance to come back as well. Right, so because we've had all our restrictions lifted in Scotland, so hey... Let's make the most of it. Right, so this is 13 centimetres by 13. So, you know, I know that 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 square there, and one, two, three, four, five, six, that square there, 
brings me to the middle. So what I should have had was my stamp ready. If we want to have, let's have our sunshine anyway in the middle. Ish. Just to start off. Now, in the last, where's the floral kite? Because I rather like that stamp. And I like the colouring in that I did, so it would be fun just to have a bit of that today. Oh, if it's just one person, then that's different. Right, and then... Of that one coming out from the sunshine. And let's see what else. I think we'll leave it at that for the first two stamps because then we can decide how we're fitting everything else. And as I say, I'm not going to try to just to be the same. I wanted to get the cloud more in this time, but but I want to also get some bows. So let's just stick with that. Of course that has to stay because I didn't completely clean that floral stamp. But it hasn't marked. Maybe I have. It just maybe stained. Okay so what I've got is because I'm using photopolymer stamps I've got this foam mat with the grid marked on it. And I've got my magnets just try to stop it from moving once the ink goes on the stamps they're not quite as sticky so the other good thing to do is to pop for any yeah i want that cloud stamp out right is to pop the stamp piece oh you get your wee doggy out tracy don't make it wait just for me now i'm going to move this up a wee bit so that you can see can you see better than most of the Stamparatus. Right, so I'm using a square. There's other ways that you can do eight different points. On this one, I'm just doing it with four points. So I've got no template. I'm just using the corner of my Stamparatus as my turning thing, point, whatever. Right, so, and I'm just going to ink it all in Night of Navy, and then we'll colour it in. So basically a kind of relaxy type of cup and cards and that's how it should be. Right, so I've inked it, inked it up. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. And if it's not properly central, well, it's not properly central and I can always trim it to suit. Right, so that's... And the good thing with the Stamparatus is if I hadn't inked it up properly, I can do that exactly over again because it's in the same place. Then I'm going to take that off there and I'm going to turn it around but this time I'm going to take the sun away because we've got that there. I don't really want it over stamped. So it's just the kite now. This I find very, very therapeutic. It's just to sit and see what happens with your Stamparatus. Morning Margaret, and you come. The fire's on. And then turn it round again. Just a relaxed one today to get me started back. Didn't want that sort of flying by the seat of my pants feeling today. Although I am in a way, I just, when I first logged on, I wasn't going to copy the card, case my cards I made last night. I was going to do something different. And then I thought, why? <laughs> Why are you doing that? People like to see how you made things, so. Yeah, it's chilly. Come and warm your bits by the fire, as they say. There's hot drinks, cold drinks on the table, whatever suits you. I'm sure the others will shuffle up and let you in. 
always a well warm welcome here at Jazzle Dazzle Craft. There we go, so there's the kites. So we'll I do have my chamois here. We'll just oops. It's a bit wet. Ooh. Obviously didn't squeeze it out, but I've got an old microfiber cloth. Right. Let's take this away. Right, so I'm not quite sure. I, what I do want is, I love the way that these boat, the kite tail. And the other one where it, it could just, as if it's dive bombing. And it doesn't, the whole thing doesn't have to be in the picture. I'm just not quite sure where or how to fit this cloud in. Because I liked having the cloud in. Will it just go about there, won't it? <sighs> Finger. So will we go with that then? Because that will fill the space in these ones. Let's just do it. As they say. And that's probably inked my paper anyway. So I can't move it now. Yeah, you're right. It did. Pray that was. We were just going to have to go with it if it's wrong. I'm not sure that that was totally in there. It's going to have a slightly double, but I had a feeling it wasn't quite right. We'll just, I think it'll be alright once I've coloured it. And I forgot to ink my cloud, but do you know what? That'll be fine. You can barely notice the wee shadow. Using your stamparatus, these little mistakes are fixable. Just turn it around. Make sure it's tight in the corner and use your magnets and ink up. I absolutely love my Stamparatus, don't use it enough. So that's why I'm thinking we'll have either a class on it or a series. I might do a wee Stamp it at the Saturday or something like that. We'll see. That would be quite, that's a good idea, doesn't it? Stamp it at a Saturday. And pop them out on a Saturday. They wouldn't be live, but they could be pre recorded. Inking up again. So it's just a bit of fun, isn't it? There are other other stamp sets with smaller stamps that lend themselves to this sort of play. Yeah, turn it round again. I couldn't. I was sort of forgot what I was doing there. <laughs> Had a wee brain freeze. It's probably because I made myself have water and not coffee. Not that usual rush of caffeine to wake me up. There we go. I 
I would have liked to have incorporated a sentiment in, but I think all these ones are a bit big. Uh, I think it's, yeah, that's too long and that one's too wide. What's her, where have I got a smaller sentiment? Oh, oh, I know where there's a smaller happy birthday. The peaches, is it? Or peaches one? Where is that? Are they called sweet peaches? Sweet as a peach. I think it's got smaller sentiments. How big is that happy birthday? Oh, it's bigger. It's not as wee as I thought it was. Hello, though. Look, it's got a wee hello. That would be okay. Where are you? Hello. We'll just go with a wee hello, because then it makes it into a wee a letter card. I was going to say a note card, but it's going to be a bit big, isn't it? Right. Janice, clean off the stamps and take them off. Now, yeah, I've just had another daft idea. What if the hello was in the cloud? But the whole idea was that I was filling up some of the space, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, well, we can do lots of hellos. Let's just go with this first. We'll pop them in the clouds. Hello, clouds. <laughs> Turn it around. A quick inky up. This really hasn't taken too long to do. Hello, hello. That's usually when I come into a room, that's how I let people know I'm there. <laughs> when I go on um, YouTube lives, I always come in with hello, hello, hello. That's so that everyone knows they're included in my hello and it's not just for one person. Right, and then, well, did you see that? I didn't even put my magnets on for that one. Because it's such a small stamp, it's not sticking. Let's see. I just thought the kites were good fun, just a bit, just playful. Um, I wonder. To a sweet friend, would that, hello to a sweet friend? That's if I can find that. I'm hopeless at reading backwards. Hello to a sweet friend, would that work? Oh, it could go down that space, couldn't it? Alright, let's play. I'm just playing to let you see what happens when you play. Right in there, right there. You have to bend your head to read this card, but hey, hey, Monica, I didn't see you coming. This 
hi. Oh, the knotted neck giraffe. He's got a high. Well, we'll go over this one. Will be fine. We'll just. I think we'll stop after this. Do you think? There is such a thing as overkill. But I, do you know when I'm having fun, I just keep going. That's that's me all over it. I don't always know when to stop. Is there anyone else like that? Do you know what? I might echo these flowers. See, I'm, this is me. I'm like, oh, bring something else in. What else is up in the sky? Could have birds up there, you know, whatever. If we've got little, if we've got little butterfly stamps, you know, my brain's going like that. What can we put in next? I'm just showing you what can be done, you know. These magnets are very strong and I'm taking care not to get them too close together because look what can happen if you do. Lost the end of that one, it snapped. As I say, you can keep going. You could, you know, I could pull out likes of. There's some. What stamp set's got some different butterflies? Oh, I can't remember. But this one's got, you know, little flowers and bits and bobs, so you can do it with this. In fact, I think I'll make that my, another video. Right, I'm going to stop while it's still clean. Close my, I'm going to take that stamp back to put back in my sweet as a peach stamp set. I need a card base. I'll just gone behind myself to get a sheet of card because I'm doing. Obviously a nice big card here, big and square, version me. This is, again, I'm aware I'm using UK card stock and I'm talking in centimetres and I'm aware not everyone talks in centimetres. But I do this, a card that I would say if you're doing inches, you would be doing maybe a five and three quarter inch. But because I've already, well, I don't know, I'll do it in five and three quarters so you guys can do that. So would that work with your paper though? How long is yours at 11? And maybe we didn't work. I'll just stick with, if you, yeah, maybe it probably would it. Are you 11 and a half or 11? You no, know, you are 11 and a half. So five and three quarters would work with the American paper size. So five and three quarter inches. Because usually you would use a six by six envelope. So, that, you know, that's going to work. Five and three quarters. This is my cheat way to do a square card without having to take the arm of your trimmer out. If you're like me you've crafted yourself into a small space so score there take it out fold it make sure it's nice and straight bring it back in put your fold at the five and three quarters and then just trim that wee extra bit off and there you have a the lazy way now where is my designer series paper? Here it is. So again, because we're using the Bami Blue card base again, I'm going to go for a piece of the Bami Blue. I 
and this time we will use this whirly bit. That's what I call it, whirly whirly. So again, if I did cut that at five and three quarters, then I could cut that at five and a quarter or even... Where's my stamp in just till I make sure? I just want to see what this measures so that... So yeah, so that's less than... That's a bit, that's five and one eighth, so an inch. So we could cut this at five and a half and have a good show of this paper. I just want, you know, the paper to be seen as well. So go that. So I do I mix and match inches. So if you're do if you're using UK A4, cut it at 14.5 centimetres. If you're using American size letter paper, I think it is, cut your card at five and three quarter inches and then come down quarter of an inch. Yeah, and then that's at five and an eighth, so you can see a good bit of the paper. So there's our basic, oh, do you know what else would we need? We'll need an inside piece, so let's just cut that. Again, we'll cut this one at five and a half inches. Sorry, I'm not reading in comments right now because my brain's in overdrive right now trying to think of inches because I don't generally. But I'm getting better and because I've been doing my classes in PDFs that my friends in America can buy. Um, I have really been working out the measurements for them. So there we've got an inside liner, we've got their top to colour in, and we've got our card base and we've got a nice mat for it. So will we stamp on here? Of course we will. So I think this time we'll make a pattern. We'll make a pattern with the this. What's it called? The tail. <laughs> this girl is fried and it's early morning. And I'm st oh, not sticking too good. Right, so what I'm going to do is join the tail up. So as you see, you can turn it so that you're not going too far from the edge of your card. Aim the end of it at the end of the last one. I'm not sure you saw that properly because I was trying to get my head over it. There you go, some good tails coming down the side. I'm good with that. I can't see any said any comments, there we go. Where are you off to today, Shirley? Oh, so you're saying thanks for the demo. I thought you were saying you're heading off for the demo, sorry. Oh my goodness, I'm not here at all, am I? So yeah, and then you've got a good bit to write to your friend on your card. So I have got some blends on my table because I did tidy up last night. So I've got um, A misty moonlight one. I've got the Bami blue pair, and I've got the so saffron. Plate. And I don't really want to go too off piste, so let's give this sunshine. Some colour. So I'm using the alcohol blends, and this is the dark so saffron I'm putting in here. And again, this is not a colouring lesson. This is just get some colour on and enjoy what you see. Come. 
your eight and a half by 11, so, all right. So that won't work, the five and a half, you'd have to do, yeah, it would. Five and a half does work, doesn't it? It works exactly. My brain's not good today. But five and three quarters I did, so that won't work. But if you did a five and a half inch base, you would be done. Okay, see the brain will come, but not today, evidently. All right, so again, I use the light balmy blue on my clouds. And I'll stick with that. And I just, I didn't like colour it solidly. I just did some swirls so that you're still keeping the texture of your clouds. That sort of whirliness that clouds have got. So again, keep into quite a tight colour palette because that I do like a tight colour palette. Saves the brain thinking too much. So just make that. And then I'm going to take my dark Bami Blue. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take my dark So Saffron and do the middles of the flowers. Again, I'm just popping. I mean, again, you could really fancy up the card if you want. You could use embellishments for the centres of your flowers, but I'm actually just making this a a letter card so I can write a wee letter to a friend and pop it in the post. And if this is quite flat, it will go for normal letter size. In the UK, I um, can't speak for other countries. All right, so, and then instead of colouring the flowers in, what I did on the last one was colour the negative space. Now, you are going to have to talk amongst yourselves a bit because when I'm colouring, I kind of forget that I've got people watching. And because this is live, I can't fast forward it. However, if you're watching the replay, especially if you're watching the replay on YouTube, Later, oh, that's a mistake. Later on today, I'll get this up if Facebook allows me to. Um, I'll get it up onto YouTube, and you can change my speed there. Believe me, it's quite hilarious when you put someone on double speed on YouTube. So here we go. So again, if you are watching on YouTube on the replay, this um, you won't probably understand all of the chatter that's happening. Yeah, yeah your double speed's hilarious because this is a Facebook Live. I have my cup putting cards on a Thursday morning. Okay, now I'm just, I don't want to, I would normally have my head over my colouring. So I'm just. I'm using the brush tip simply because it just colours quicker. But if you want to be precise, use the bullet tip. There's nothing to say you can't. I, something I'll, There's something quite pleasing about negative space colouring. Although, to be fair, I did do the centres, but... You know, it don't take too long. I think it's quite, you know, it's not complicated stamping. 
it's quite straightforward and easy and then I'm just going to use my Misty Moonlight and colour my bows and like you say you know you could add twine and you could yep we could have lots of fun and we probably will use this with twine and all our beautiful ribbons because you can make a tiny wee faux bow um, by just putting a knot in your ribbon rather than trying to tie a full bow just doing a quick tri triangle and a dot in the middle that seems to fill the space and I like the t I do like this colour yellow and blue is a nice colour way and anything that's got night of navy in it makes me happy as some of you know So yeah, so hope you've enjoyed. We'll make this the just a two card cup and cards. That's all you would do if you were meeting me in a cafe for cup and cards. We would just do two cards and have a chat and a cup and, and probably cake. Now, just an, a wee touch to give this a bit of definition around the edge. What I did was I took the brush end of the pen and I just ran it along the edge here. The longer you hold it, the more ink soaks in to your paper. So it just gives it a nice sweet border, defines the square. It's just one of the things I like doing. You don't have to if it's not something that you like, then don't do it. It's just a wee extra touch that I think makes a wee difference. So that is that. So let's make our card up. Got our inside as well. So let's go. Oh. And you can put whatever you know you can write whatever you like inside this just does it oh, oh and then you get too much that's that last bit that comes out the bottle but do you know i've got me secret weapon i don't know if anyone who doesn't use this multi-purpose liquid glue look it's got an end here with one of those rubber glue tips so i can flatten that out and I think I can safely say this bottle is empty. So let's chuck that. Got another one here, which I think has been opened quite recently. Yeah, we're all right with that. You can feel the weight in it. It's got loads in it. Just making sure. Keep that in my wee stand then so that um, it stays at the bottom of the tube that in there again could color them if I chose to you know yeah the color in it and it's so peaceful to just sit and color away And Karen, you just, I never saw you come in. <laughs> hey. How are you this cold, frosty day? But beautiful, beautiful blue skies. So I'm matting my nice picture that I've done onto my celebration free paper. It's always great getting free stuffs. Right, and then there 
then on to my card. And again, there's no right, there's no real right up or down here. So just maybe my sunshine, maybe I want to have that at the top, but that's on the side now. So And if it's for a friend, you could always put a couple of wee eyes and a smile in there. I think what if I had that round that way, I would have done that. So on that one, you could kind of just for fun. Oops. Just purely for the fun of it. So there we have cup and cards just within the hour time let's tidy up I am going to have to tidy up properly clear my day so that I can get these card kits done so we started off copying my trial card from last night and we did it onto the Bami Blue so that's those two little simple cards just use this designer series paper is just gorgeous then that was my one my play from last night this one and then this is the one that we've just done together there just now I like actually putting a wee word in the clouds I'm liking that all together I think I like this one best I didn't realize how bad the lighting is in here so yeah so I'm going to yeah so what what do you what do you think folks do you like the Stampin' Atlas? I'm not going to it what do you like best kind of thing, but I was talking while we were working there. Do you want, do you think a wee Stampin' Atlas series on, probably would just go on straight onto YouTube, to be honest. Do you think that would be a good idea? I know some people do simple Saturdays and simple Sundays and stamping on a Saturday and I already do stamping on a Sunday and well stamping up we kind of enjoy a bit of alliteration so what about stamping at a Saturday are we see these and maybe start soon anyway let me know what you think whether you're watching live or whether you're watching on replay um, yeah, so if, you ha if you're catching me on Facebook, thank you very much. You know that you can also catch me on YouTube on Jazzle Dazzle Crafts with Janice. That's my channel name on YouTube. I'm ha working hard. I've got two and a, a 200 and something um, subscribers on YouTube to get to get to 2000. So I'm working on a that's my concentration I want to get I want to get there so if you're able to help in that that would be fantastic by letting other people know about my crafting and if you're local here in Falkirk please know I am starting a card making class face to face in Falkirk starting on the 2nd of February so if you want to know more about that please get in touch if you'd like to come along Thanks very much, everyone, and I'll see you next week. I hope, God willing, we'll be here next week. If I can find the way out. See what changes Facebook have made. Take care, everybody.